Hello and welcome back folks. Thank you very much for joining us again. Today we're going to talk about SMRs. That stands for Small Modular Reactors. We're going to differentiate between what we're being told and what the facts are. On a recent uh, report on the BBC news channel uh, and website, Roger Harabin presented the story about how Rolls-Royce are hoping to deploy new SMRs, the small modular reactors, in certain parts of, of the north of England. He proposed that having small modular reactors as opposed to the other standard new nuclear new build such as Hinkley Point C uh, is like this. You have something that is delivered on a lorry and it's in that package so that's a small modular reactor you can have another one like this you can keep adding them up and that would make a complete power station just like that well that was the impression that he gave on the little video that's on the website and that is a long way from reality for a start these do not arrive as one complete unit. They are assembled on site. And we're going to look at a model like that uh, in a minute. But first of all, one of the really big points to bear in mind that these are not complete nuclear power station facilities. These are just the reactor and steam generator. So in addition to reactors themselves you need a turbine hall and a turbine hall with turbines and um, generators in let's put that to one side can you still see that on the picture there so the steam that would come out of here would go through and drive the uh, turbines and then it would go to the generators you would also need a cooling facility and so we have an interesting version of cooling facilities here we're going to use air system that's what's on the the images and there would also need to be some sort of administration block and when that is all added together it takes up between 10 and 15 acres depending on on which brand of small modular reactor you're looking at. But now what we're going to do is I'm going to clear the table to have a look at what actually is a modular reactor. This is based on New Scale which is a company based in Oregon, North America and I suspect that there would be a similar idea for the proposed Rolls-Royce model. The new scale one is relatively advanced. The concept of our designs were around seven or eight years ago now. So where do we start? Well, we have a base and then we have the base of the reactor that plops into there. We're going to insert some control rods and fuel rods very carefully. And then we're going to put some containment and oh, no, no, we'll put the steam generator in first this is the, the where the heat comes up and so the steam is made in the steam generator we're then going to put the containment on so and uh, we're going to cap that off like that and then we're going to have a connection to go off to the turbine hall which would be the same. The turbine hall and generators would be in a separate building. This process that I've just illustrated is all done underwater and the equivalent scale for this would be in a shape pretty much the size of a domestic bath. So that this is sort of 75 80 feet so you're talking about a hundred foot of water and all of that process and the ceiling between the different units is done underwater 
When that is complete, when one module has been made, this is lifted and moved along within this giant tank and slotted into an area that is for that, in this case, our first module. And then a roof comes over with the various connections for the steam pipes and, and control mechanisms. That whole process is then repeated over and over until you have three, six, all connected to an external turbine uh, building, some sort of cooling system going on with fans, possibly seawater. There are rumours that one could be deployed over at Bradwell, which would use uh, cooling water from the estuary. It would be even a basic model could be much, much bigger than what was there. That is the reality. It is not as simplistic as just adding complete units one by one. It is much more complicated and will take a long time. The Rolls-Royce model has not gone for the GDA, the Generic Design Assessment, with the Environment Agency or the Office for Nuclear Regulation. That could take anything between three and, well, possibly even up to five, six, seven years. And then you've got the building and the proofing and the testing. So this will not be an answer for the issues with global warming. The time period that it takes is just far too long. The action is needed now, now, now. Thank you very much for listening in. I hope that's clarified uh, in your minds what a small modular reactor really is and, and what's involved. Always appreciate you coming to have a little watch. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the blog. Do leave a comment and I look forward to joining you next time. Is it going to work? <laughs> Would it work? Yeah, right.